Hiya. Today we're going to take a look at how to do different character voices for a video game. And we're going to use my student Sabine, who's very kindly uh, agreed that uh, we can have a listen in to her doing a particular script. It's good fun and I hope you enjoy it. All right, so you've got... Uh, how many? You've got Triton. I'm counting the characters here. So you've got Triton, Boss, Narrator, which is kind of you, um, Superheroes Leader, and then it goes back to Narrator again. So I, I count four characters there. I think the trick with video game or any, any characterization, whether you're doing animation or audio books, whatever, the, the key is to have really diverse voices that that um, you can separate out in your own head so they don't sound similar so you can play around with intonation pitch tempo you know the pace at which they deliver their lines um, so let me try and give you my version see what you think now th this is just a guide and you don't have to stick to these voices you can do whatever voices you like so <clears throat> let's have a go sure go ahead Hey, boss, there's a problem. Hey, boss. Yeah, what is it, Triton? There's a problem down, 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 down. I'll do that again. There's a problem lower down in the tower, boss. Could you be a little bit more specific, or do I have to eat you like my last Triton? <laughs> eat me, sure. You're really going to do that? I don't believe you. I will. Just get on with it. Okay, okay. We've got superheroes in the tower. Superheroes? Are you sure? And then it's narrator, which is you, kind of an exaggerated you. At that point, four lycra-clad superheroes burst through the door. Stop your evil ways, Triton and Triton's boss. We're superheroes and we've come to save the universe. With that, a terrible battle ensues. Use your game console to determine the outcome. Do not hold back. Otherwise we may all be doomed. So lots of drama, lots of acting in this, isn't it? Yeah. And um, have some fun with it. I mean, you know, the, the whole thing is meant to be fun. Obviously, I mucked it up, but uh, carried on. <laughs> no, no, you did, so you my... did really well. That's just, <laughs> so it's, wow, that's challenging. <laughs> it's okay. getting your head around those voices, isn't it? Yeah, it it's is. Really difficult. Um... So, okay. um, and, and you're, you're flipping very quickly from voice to voice. Now, what you might do if you were recording this at home or in the studio is record every voice separate and then edit them all together. But for the sake of this exercise, we're going to try and flip out of one character and quickly adopt another. So tough one. Let's give it a go. Okay. That, that is really, really the case that you they record them all separately. Uh, Usually? We would in the yeah, you could do if you were in the studio, yeah, or you were doing it yourself. You could just so you could concentrate on you know one character, right? Okay. I've got all their lines sorted. Go to another character. I'll do them. They're, they're different. I can get my head around it. Get in the zone of that character. Do all of their lines. It means more editing for you, but sometimes it's a better way of performing it. But even if you're doing that, I suggest you go through the script and flip from character to character just to give you an idea of how they sit together because the problem if you're recording separately and it's just you and you're not working with any other voice actors is you're bouncing off yourself essentially okay. which is which is quite hard isn't it so let's give it a go see see how you get on all right good luck and cue hey boss there's a problem Hey, boss. Go. What is it, Trident? There's a problem lower down in the tower, boss. Could you be a little bit more specific, or do I have to eat you like my last Triton? Uh, eat me, sure. You're really going to do that? I, I don't believe you. I will. Just get on with it. Uh, okay, okay. We've got superheroes in the tower superheroes are you sure at that point four like are clad superheroes burst through the doors stop your evils triton and triton's boss we are superheroes and we've come to save the universe 
With that, the terrible battle ensues. Use your game console to determine the outcome. Do not hold back. Otherwise, we may all be doomed. That wasn't too bad, actually. For a first read, that was um, great effort. Let's have a listen. Hey, boss, there's a problem. Hey, boss, go. Good, good start there. Uh, what is it, Trident? You could probably make the boss a little bit, I mean, it, it, I can hear the difference, but you could probably try and make it a little bit deeper or rougher or, um, you know, ah, what is it, Triton? Okay. Here's a problem, lower down in the tower, boss. Could you be a little bit more specific or do I have to eat you like my last Triton? Uh, eat me, sure. You're really going to do that? I, I don't believe you. Very good. And I like the sort of stumbly bit there, deliberate stumble. It worked, it worked well. I don't, I don't believe you. Very nice. I will. Just get on with it. Uh, okay, okay. We've got superheroes in the tower. Superheroes? Are you sure? At that point, four like her clad, these superheroes burst through the doors. Stop your evils. Triton and Triton. I don't, I don't know what your evils are, but they've sounded, are you <laughs> they sounded scary. <laughs> Stop your evil ways. Boss, we are superheroes and we've come to save the universe. With that, the terrible battle ensues. Use your game console. And it's a terrible battle, actually. To determine the outcome. Do not hold back. Otherwise, we may all be doomed. And it's a little bit throwaway at the end. I think mm -hmm. if you were doing it for real, you'd want to say, mm -hmm. do not hold back. Otherwise, we may all be doomed. Do you see what okay. I mean? So you've got a bit of, bit of drama there and you want a nice cliffhanger. Yeah. Well, let's go for one more. But it was very good, actually. Very good. Just try and differentiate your, your characters more. It's quite hard when you're being put on the spot to come up with three or four different characters. You know, it's quite, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite a yeah. challenge, really. Mm -hmm. But let's see what happens. Here we go. So stand by and cue. Hey, boss, there's a problem. Hey, boss, go. What is it, Trident? There's a problem lower down in the tower, boss. Could you be a little bit more specific or do I have to eat you like my last trident? Uh, -huh. eat me? Sure, you're not, you're really going to do that? I, I don't believe you. I will just get on with it. Okay, okay. We've got superheroes in the tower. Superheroes, are you sure? At that point, four like her clad, superheroes burst through the door. Stop your evil ways, Triton and Triton's boss. We are superheroes and we've come to save the universe. With that, a terrible battle ensues. Use your game console to determine the outcome. Do not hold back. Otherwise, we may all be doomed. I thought that was very good as well. Slightly different one. I certainly liked your narrator on that one. I thought your narrator was better. Okay. Hey boss, there's a problem. Hey boss, go. What is it, Trident? I thought you read G very well because it's spelled G A H H H H H H, and you could <laughs> you could stretch that out. But the way you did it was quite good. You you attack those words mm -hmm. very firmly, which uh, which worked okay. well. Very good. I mean, what you could do if you have more time would be mm -hmm. to perhaps change the accent of one of them. So if you can do a British accent, oh. for example, um, I think I was trying in vain to do a sort of generic North American yeah. voice on one of them. And you uh -huh. could you could flip that over, reverse it and do a you know, British, British accent okay. or if you do any other 
other accents, you know, kind of generic, other foreign <laughs> accent that you, okay. you find. Just to, again, just to, just to mark it out as being a different character, really. Anything mm -hmm. you can do to, to make that difference. Okay. Yeah, that was okay. That was quite good. With that, a terrible battle ensues. Use your game console to determine the outcome. Do not hold back. Otherwise, we may all be doomed. Very good. I liked it. I liked it. And it was good fun. You know, the, the, the whole yeah. point is you make it sound like fun. It's not meant to be yeah. serious, that particular one. And you know, it's all slightly tongue in cheek. But um, that was great. I thought the, the fun element came across very, very well there. The takeaway from Sabine's session is that it's important to make your characters sound very different, as different as possible. So to the listener, they know that these are different people or different aliens or, or whatever. And the elements you need are a change in pace and tempo for each one, because not all of us speak at the same rate. And also you need to add as many different accents in, uh, draw on anything you can from whatever you've got in your repertoire, from Glasgow to Cockney, from Bronx to California girl and everything in between. And also the general kind of feel that that character has. And you can rough up the tone a little bit on some things or make other, other uh, characters a bit smoother and so on. It's all about messing around with them and seeing what works. But of course, consistency is key. You've got to keep those characters the same when we flip back to them so that we instantly recognize, ah, that's that alien in this case, that was Triton or that was the boss or whatever. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe and press the notification button so that you get notifications every time I upload a new uh, voiceover lesson and, and voiceover video. And it'd be good to have you on board. And also, please do comment as well. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments section. All right, thanks very much for watching. Look after your voice and see you next time.